Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, I'll be reviewing the new Y by Yes Snowboards. Basically, the poor man's optimistic. This board is available in four sizes, 151, 154, 157, and 161. This board features Yes's 242 cam rocker, which is two millimeters of rocker with four millimeters of camber, so it's cam rocker. Basically, you got a little bit more lift in the rocker and you got the same amount of camber that you have on a bunch of their other stuff. So you're gonna get that snap and pop of camber underfoot, but you're gonna have that ease of entry and play out in the tips from the rocker. I rode this board at Aspen Snowmass on a day in the spring that was overcast, blustery, pockets of blue, there was fresh snow, heavy snow. I think it might have even rained at the bottom of the mountain that day. I'm not even sure. It was like kind of sticky. Basically, the conditions were total crap, and I rode it with my K2 Thraxxus boots and my K2 Indy bindings. As this is the little brother to the Optimistic, it is a bit softer. And it is a slightly directional flex, meaning softer nose, progressively stiffening up to the tail with a moderate amount of torsional flex. Overall, I'd say it's past middle of the road in terms of its flex, but not by much. Now, the good thing about this board is it retains the stability of the Optimistic. You wanna charge hard, go fast, push through a valley of moguls and not die, here you go. This is the board for you. Yeah, the nose will flap a little bit at speeds, but it never really resonates back to that front foot. Overall, this board is lively, but it's still just like damp enough to absorb any form of chatter. It doesn't get bucked around. It doesn't want to wash out. It just wants to plow through everything and keep on going. There is snap in this board. Is it poppy? Yeah, that's debatable, but it does get the job done. You need to be a little more calculated with how you load it up and where you're going to pop with it. But when you do aggressively load it up, you will feel that rebound off the tail and this board will really spring up into the air. With the setback in the nose, there is this immense sweet spot that you can really just butter with. I mean, really butter with. But there is a lot of rebound in this board, so you will feel it fight you. It is one of those boards that you've got to make sure you've got your weight out over, you're really pressing into. As for the tail, eh, just lean back and do a wheelie. That's about all I can say with it. When it comes to carving, this is where this board shines. I mean, the Optimistic is a sleeper carver board, and this is just easier to engage, in my opinion, with that torsional flex. It rolls from edge to edge quickly. It's very nimble. It's one of those boards that when you do get it on edge, you feel it grip. It locks in and you can really drive with it. It's easier to drive with it due to that softer torsional flex. You really want to lay your board over? Here you go. This is it. If the Optimistic was too stiff for you to really aggressively carve and not feel all that rebound, then this might be the better solution for you when it comes to carving. Long, hard, drawn out carves, short, quick, tight ones. Yeah, you wanna lay a deep Euro carve? Here you go, go for it. This board just grips and rips. So who's this board for? It's for the all mountain free ride charger. Essentially, this board is a softer flexing optimistic. Whereas that board you have to be a little bit more on top of and a little more assertive with, you can be a little more laid back. This is a board that doesn't require your A game all the time, but you definitely do want to bring your A game because when you do, this board is fucking primo. Trust me on that. This is a board that you can drive through just chunder fields and push it and ride pow and carve with. It's a very, very versatile board. It's one of those like medium volume shifted decks. I actually thoroughly enjoyed this, even though the conditions at Snowmass kind of sucked ass that day. The board more than made up for the just crappy ass conditions I was forced to ride. Except for that mogul field of death. That, that, just, that just fucking sucked. Make one wrong turn, next thing you know you look over and your friend's just sliding on his ass about to die and you're joining him. Anyways, that's a story for another time. Let's, let's just finish this review up. Comparable boards, the Ride Super Pig, the K2 Simple Pleasures, the Capita Navigator. This has been my review of the new Y by Yes Snowboards. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications, that way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you really want to see us just grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a whole video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.